put all that snow. Woods are completely covered by ice. Winter storm warning has been issued. Winds are gusting. As you can see. See the wind. And after school today, because um, of the heavy snow and the snow blow, they had to fix because it's going to be a ghost town. No people, and I mean no people, are going to walk in the sidewalks and streets, which means there's no school today, no work, nothing. And these winds are gusting. These winds are gusting 30 miles per hour at times. At timing. So yeah. This is a lot of snow, actually. This is over six to twelve over. 14 inches of snow, as you can see, this is 14 inches of snow, and it was really bad, um, but I had to say something to myself that there was a, it was supposed to be a blizzard warning, and it wasn't being that much of a blizzard, so yeah, and then what happened is, What happened is the National Weather Service turned down that solution for the blizzard. all the snow. Um, okay, as I was saying, um, there's, it was supposed to be a blizzard, like a really bad blizzard, with really strong gusty winds, and we did have gusty winds, but the only problem is, it didn't turn out to be a really strong blizzard. It had failed that solution. So now we issued a winter storm warning. As you can see, the snow is piled up really good. It's really piled up with snow, as you can see. <coughs> the whole windows are covered. The, the windows are um, gotten the cover of snow, um, see, now let's move to the kitchen, wow, look at this, ice, uh, ice, 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 and look, snow, as you can see, this is wet snow, and here, it's ice. Look at how bad it is outside. Look at all that snow. And I hear winds. Look at you. Sit up for you. See, winds are gusting. It's gusting 30 miles per hour at times. And it's really cold outside. Um, we're in a bitter blast, cold air. And this is all the snow that was recovered all falling down. And here, the National Weather Service says when you're going at home, you're going to see more. Oh, look, see what happened? A lot of water. That's going to cause mold. Um, look at that. Ice, ice, ice. All the snow really packed the punch. It looks really puffy. See how the snow looks like? The ice. This is over 
and it was supposed to be two feet of snow, but it not quite, but mostly close to two feet of snow. This is one feet of snow. Um, but it, look at the snow, as you can see. Closer, closer. It's actually really deep. Really, really deep. I think that will be two feet. I think probably two feet, but I think it's mostly one feet because there was no blizzard. Well, there was blizzard condition fields, so we issued a blizzard condition warning, and it stopped snowing, and it was getting windy, 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 and the, the winds were blowing, and we had blowing snow that was just blowing around. Um, blizzard warning has been issued upstate, upper state New York from Boston. They're having really strong winds with blizzard. Long Island had it worse heat than here. <coughs> so yeah. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna close the window now. So yeah, guys, that's um, enough for my video. Um, hope you guys like that video. And that's how much snow we have. It's over. 14 inches of snow, um, which is a lot, that's still a lot of snow, so, no matter how, like, 14, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, that's a lot of snow, <coughs> <coughs> and I still have that back off, so I apologize that, um, the, the reason why I got a back off is when I got off from work, and then I got sick, from someone who had a cough, and then I got the fever and something like that, and then I got the flu, <coughs> <coughs> and that's mostly it. So yeah, um, hope you guys like this video. Um, please subscribe my channel, which is Neil Gonzalez, Weather Gonzalez X45. It's it's a really good channel, and we. And, yeah, and I'm going to sh show you another look, how it is, ice, and all that snow, and that's all the snow that we recovered in our weather forecast. <coughs> Oh, and another thing, Miliadris James Christian um, announced that once we head more into the weekends, like next weekend, like even like more into the weekends, we're gonna start getting this really um, fr frigid temperature, which is um, we're getting back the polar vortex, polar vortex mammoth, probably, maybe, maybe. If it could definitely put it on the calendar for frigid cold temperature, they said that <coughs> Meliodras James Cushion said that it's gonna be like once you head up to the next weekend, like more more into the weekend from New York City, we're gonna expect frigid cold temperatures, which probably means well yeah this this snow is gonna be this snow is possible to stay sticking here due to the cold air mass that provides it. And not just only that, you know Friday, right? We ha we're going to have a little snow expected, but that's not going to be bad. But temperature is going to go down 9 degrees once we go on Friday. And that's mostly it. And that's that's the coldest temperature in the world history book. So yeah, hope you guys like this video. Um, this was Blizzard Mammoth that hit. But this is what is this Blizzard Mammoth. This is Superstorm Mammoth again that hit the Northeast Coast. So people, was this a blizzard? No, it wasn't. It's called a blizzard whiteout condition. At time, warning. That's what it was supposed to call for the National Weather Service. Because we didn't expect a, a really strong event of a blizzard to slam the Northeastern Coast. We have issued now a winter storm warning because the low pressure is going to move close to the capes and it's going to cause a lot of feet of snow. Boston is expecting 
a lot. Boston is expecting one to three feet of snow. So yeah. And these ones are gusting, see? They're gusting. And that's mostly it. Hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe. And peace. Please subscribe. And bye.